Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be continuing the showcase series with another double feature showcase. This time with a showcase that's also a suggestion. Today's run was suggested by Finn Ian Ramsey. Finn Ian Ramsey 4634. Thank you so, so much for the suggestion. They said this is their favorite build and we're going to use it today. It's going to be consist. It's going to it's going to be frantic sword alongside infantry bow. It's going to be those two main weapons. And they said we have freedom to choose everything else. So I have all outfits enabled except for the outfits that don't allow us to use heads. And I also disabled the um, heads that we've been seeing around for such a long time. Anyways, as you guys can see, everything else is the same. Let's just get into the run. So thank you, Finn, for the suggestion. I hope I'm not butchering your name, but I, I don't think I am. Finn sounds about right. And yeah, thank you so much for the suggestion. Let's try to... Let's try to make you have fun, right? A uh, couple, couple things we can use here. I think I, I'm going to go with the double damage one. So the thing with the build that we have right here is that uh, it is admittedly at first glance not a very good combo. We're using a ranged weapon and a come on. We're using a ranged weapon and a and a close ranged weapon that don't necessarily fit. There's not an apparent synergy going on here. However, uh, the thing that's good uh, with this build right here is with Frantic Sword, for example, uh, we have kind of a complementary synergy going on where Frantic Sword will do extra damage if we have less than 50% HP or 50% malaise. So, we can, uh, in a sense, use uh, the infantry bow until we get damaged and until we get hit. And when we get below 50% or over 50% uh, malaise, we can start using the frantic sword. And yeah. It's gonna it's gonna work out for us great. Other than that, we just we're just gonna go. Let's see, Castle Outskirts is incentivized, so we might end up going there. Although I really like I think we're gonna go to Castle Outskirts, yeah, it's a new DLC, there's stuff to see there. Let's just kill a couple more enemies. So, uh, Finn said we, we're we free to choose whatever mutations we want. So we're going to do the, just that. We're going to use whatever mutations we want. Whatever we feel like using. And hopefully we will, we will have a good time. Uh, as you guys know, I've been using Velocity a lot. So we might pivot to that. Considering we don't have that many uh, good brutality mutations that would benefit both uh, weapons here. Cat is decent. I think we can go with Cat. I want to get rid of the extra damage. Uh, I want to get rid of the extra damage on the bow, but since we haven't found anything... I guess we I guess we're gonna keep using it. Velocity as always. So if we have less than 50% HP, we can start using the the frantic sword. And for a lot of people. Managing malaise is better than managing low health. So if you can find ways to increase your malaise past the five bars by eating malaise food that you don't need to, 
Uh, I don't think playing slowly is a decent. Uh, ooh. Okay, we 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 rallied our health back up. Oh, an elite. Nice. Okay. Wow. Guess we keep that in our backpack. That's a bad scroll. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I was talking. I, I was saying something and I forgot. Oh yeah, for a lot of people, managing malaise is better than managing at low health. So if you can just find ways to increase your malaise. Uh, however, I don't think managing your malaise by playing slower or just I don't know. I, I don't feel like it's I don't feel like it's a good plan. I don't know. It might be actually. Oh boy. That's an elite. Damn. Wasn't expecting to see that. Well, at least we're keeping our malaise down. I don't think uh, waiting around for the run to be longer and your malaise to go up is a good plan. I think it's a better idea to just lower your health a bit. And yes, it uh, this increases the skill ceiling, you know, of the weapon. But uh, I feel like it's a, it's a good plan. I'm not that much a fan of frantic sword. I I, I gotta admit I I liked it way uh, way way better. I liked it more in the past. Sorry. I liked it uh, more in, in the past, like really, really back then, when I was just a small, a small uh, guy. And I was just a small person, you know, just a kid playing Dead Cells, still trying to beat 2, 3 BC. I really loved Frantic Sword, but... As uh, time progressed and as my skill increased, I, I began to dislike it a bit. I don't know why. I also tried using it recently and I had a lot of trouble. Again, it might be a skill issue and with time I got better. But I don't remember myself enjoying this weapon that much, actually. Which is weird, right? Because it is really good, and the animation is amazing, and the sprite for the weapon is just, you know, chef's kiss, right? Okay, Cat is doing a lot of work. Thank you, Cat. And with that, we're done. I think I want to go down first. Because then I don't have to worry about the spawn placement of teleporters, which is really bad, by the way. Level 7. Maybe we can get a better infantry bow. This is not mimicked, so I'm not going to buy anything. We're going to go here. We're going to come here to Corrupted Prison. I am not skipping this biome. We could still, even though it might not seem like it because, you know, half of our setup is ranged, we could still use Predator because uh, that's something not a lot of people know about Predator. It still works even if uh, your final hit was dealt by a ranged weapon. If you tag an enemy with a... oh nice. If you tag the enemy with a, a close ranged attack, like for example, and that's a, a really good combo, a really good synergy that we could do. Uh, if you use 
assault shield with infantry bow, you can tag the enemies by hitting them with your push with the assault shield, and then you can kill them with infantry bow or with any other ranged weapon. And because you've tagged the enemy once with uh, the assault shield, if you get a ranged kill, you will still proc Predator, even though you're using a ranged weapon to deal the killing blow. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's something... That's something fun and interesting. Isn't it? Let's give the... Sword is not doing a whole lot of damage right now. Those are actually two um, kind of weak weapons, but it, it was a suggestion, and I also want to use, I also wanted to use them. This sucks. Like, uh, there's usually no teleporters behind this area here. So, oh, there was a teleporter in here, but there are no teleporters going up, so you have to backtrack. And this adds a lot of time to the run, and I, I don't like it. I hate it. Maybe, yeah, I, I, I do think that sometimes I am too much of a speed freak, and I could just play the runs uh, slower with no... Uh, Detriment a lot of people play the game really slow actually and sometimes I, I I catch myself thinking wow this person is playing really slowly and They usually aren't it's just that I play too fast and most of my failed runs failed attempt at runs Are actually runs where I try to go too fast, right? and uh, I, I realized that my success rate has increased a lot lately because uh, I have been pacing myself a bit more you know even when I use velocity I still like play a little slower than usual I think I'm gonna go with this because as I said the setup is not all that powerful and I kind of want to get rid of this 20% extra that's fine and since Finn gave us the freedom to choose our mutations, we're gonna go with Vengeance. Let's try to get uh, to make this work. Uh, sorry, uh, going back to my point, I've been trying to pace myself a bit more, and I've also been trying to drink more flasks, you know, healing flasks throughout the run, because like 99% of the time, I am dying with full flasks and uh, surviving. Even if you even if you lose flasks, even if I get to a final boss with no flasks, it is still better than dying, right? Wait, did I lose? Oh yeah, I did. I did it on purpose. Oh, liposuction. That's useless. Even if I die. Even if I get to a boss fight with zero flasks, it's still better than dying <clears throat> early on, right? Okay, that's a useless area. Another one for the books. We're doing no damage at all. Okay.
I can't wait to upgrade both of these weapons. There we go. We are rocking pretty low level gear. So yeah, no wonder it's not doing that much damage. And we also don't have that uh, high of a gear level. But we are being able to play really aggressively. What is this? Oh, really? That's gonna cost us the 60? Oh man, we're getting a lot of shields. Okay. Let's see, is this mimicked? It's not. But I I am upgrading all my gear. This is this is too low level to keep going with. Ooh. Okay. At least this is doing pierce, right? So it's not so bad. Let's go for the free money. I think we've already eaten the food. Dracula's castle is incentivized, so that's where we're going. Dracula's castle, I said. <laughs> Uh, I think we can go with Tainted Flask, Tainted Healing, maybe. Yeah, not too bad. I hate going into this biome. Uh early on because it has those spinning knights with the big swords oh man i thought i got rid of the servants outfits they don't allow heads as well oh boy oh oh okay okay very good i rallied back up to 60 okay now we're doing some decent damage there we go oh i i didn't have a a on collar necklace up until now that's depressing Let's not heal. If things get out of hand, we can drink from face flask, from a uh, tainted flask. And I also wanna, um, I also wanna try to get crits on the frantic sword so we can showcase it a bit. So far, this has oh boy, this was on purpose to activate the crits. I swear. Dude, both? Like, are you serious? What is this? I'm not gonna drink yet, but we're gonna be playing at low health here. It might have been a better choice of mutations to use. Uh, well, at least we got a good off color sc uh, amulet uh, scroll. Might have been a better choice to use this engagement if we're playing at such low health here. I gotta remember to activate Face Flask often though, because the damage reduction we get from proccing Vengeance is really good. Maybe I can get a better necklace? 
No? Better... Yeah, necklace. I didn't mispronounce it. I want a better necklace, man. That's so hard to get. Okay. Okay. Uh, more health, as always. I'm not sure if I want to go into... I'm not sure if I want to go into... Ooh. Okay, I'm not sure if I want to go into death fight, into the death fight with zero HP, with uh, less HP like that. So we might end up just buying food or drinking a flask charge or something like that. Just to make sure we... Because then we can really go like this. We will use... They have a lot of damage reduction when they spawn in. We can use infantry bow until we hit 50 HP, if we get hit, or until we run out of ammo or something like that. And Oh, by the way, this could be really useful if, if this run was done on tactics, because of Ripper, using a ranged and a melee weapon at the same time. And I don't use Ripper a whole lot. I know that. Mostly because I don't feel like it's really useful. Oh. Okay. At least we can upgrade some some things. Uh Burning oil, I think this is better. There's no need to upgrade the flask. It would be crazy to do so. There's no need. The, the, I don't need to do it. And I feel like we might, yeah, we might end up needing the extra money <laughs> to buy some healing flasks. But we're getting a lot of money through drops. Okay. So still the problem persists with a uh, death uh, with Dracula's castle before the death fight and Dracula's castle in general. They're they're there, there's one less shop than there, than there should be in here. There should be one more shop in this area. And there usually isn't. Also, my scroll count is a little low. Maybe we go to Blackbridge? I don't fight death enough. But, if we fought Concierge... If we fight Concierge, we can try to go to Fractured Shrines. Also, when it comes to Concierge, I am really confident in fighting it with uh, 18 HP. We might still drink, but we might not as well. Maybe a bonus to poisons? No, let's, let's uh, stop wasting money then. So I guess we use infantry bow until we run out of ammo or we just go straight to the frantic sword build which does a lot of damage
This really is one of the easiest bosses in the game. Oh! I hate when he does that. Oh my god. Okay. Pretty decent run. Pretty decent build. I guess. Wait. Increase your movement speed for 10 seconds! I never get this shit! This is the first time I have ever gotten this. This is the first time. First time ever, I swear to god. Oh man. And this is also decent. I don't believe it. You know when I needed this? When I did my uh, swift sword run. I was looking for this all over the place. Every time I went through a shop, I browsed it until I found a face flask and hoped for a... Ooh. Okay. Okay. Damn. I guess this is a lucky run. Oh! I was not paying enough attention there. I know I'm gonna get cursed soon, but... Uh, I I'm pretty sure it gives you guys as much, if not more, dread. Seeing me... Seeing me uh, have my screen blinking red all the time. I guess it's not satisfying to watch. Oh my god! Wait, no. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot the biome is cursed. Shit. Oh, that guy is still alive. Oh. Nice. Oh, come on. Don't stay inside. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna get a single. Come on, man. I mean, yeah, I love the cat. And it's it's a gigantic cat. So, of course I'm happy. When he's in my back, I am twice the size that I usually am. But I'm trying to, to record a showcase here. Uh, I'm trying to get a showcase recorded, man. That sucks. I mean, I think this is better. Okay. It is kind of decent. Oh. Okay. Now we can go back to getting crits. With you and a rift. Wow. Oh my god, why? 
hopefully when I get out, I will have a bubble protecting me. I don't want to tank that damage. This one doesn't have an extra jump. Even though it would give me more HP, the extra jump is... Better to have. Especially since I have a speed buff and it's very easy to overshoot. So being able to correct with an extra jump or two is a good thing. Oh my god, he aggroed. Oh, I don't have my thing. Let me go back to my thing and... Oh, there's a big piece of food down there. Okay. <laughs> Please, cat. Oh my god. Imagine. Did you guys see what could have happened there? My cat could have killed that guy. And I could have gotten hit by the bird. Wait. So, okay. Yeah. And another good scroll. Wow. We got nothing from scroll manipulating, but we got two or three, I guess, I think. From uh, the other runs that we did. Sorry. We got, we, we got none from scroll manipulating, but we got some... We got some others from from these biomes here. Last couple biomes. Okay. That's not a better necklace. Malaise cleared. We're not gonna get a 60. Undying Shores is incentivized, so I guess we're gonna go there. I never go to Undying Shores, although the setup is awful against uh, against uh, Scarecrow. Let's play to our strengths here. I've been trying to go through other routes lately, but I also gotta think of how the build fits the route that I might take. And this build definitely does not fit the Scarecrow fight. I mean, I never, okay, I never go to Forgotten Sepulchre. I hate this biome. I think Clock Tower has better loot, better shops as well. That's why I hate this biome. At least we can fight Giant through here. Which is something we might do. I can't, I can't leave that here because backtracking is awful in this biome. I always hate doing it, but I hate it even more here. At least the curse didn't take too long to appear. And this is a good colorless shield with a good level. Oh. Maybe some enemies to wash that down. I'm gonna have to go through here. Oh boy. Imagine losing such a good run. I hate losing runs where I flawless the first boss. It's what I hate the most. Like, I, I did well enough to flawless the first boss. And then I fucked up, right? And uh, it happens all the time. There are a lot of runs where I just get overconfident and I die in caverns, uh, late bank, astrolab. I don't die a lot in astrolab because usually I am rocking the safest of mutations when I'm there. But plenty of times have I died in shipwreck when I uh, have the stupidest idea of going through derelict distillery 
you know? Those times. We're doing so much damage right now. Okay, uh, I think this might have been a little unbalanced in a sense where I think I used point blank uh, marks. Uh, sorry, what's the name of the thing? Infantry bow a little too much? I don't know. Oof. Take it easy, man. I mean, I gotta keep these, uh, this cat with me throughout the entire game. And I'm not sure if it's a he or a she. I am not that versed in... Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. I, I tried to time my second dodge there, but I failed. Another rift? Wow. <laughs> this run started so underscrolled. What the hell is happening? I'm going because we already got the 60. No extra jump. Oh, what? I think I'm gonna drink here, actually. Just to be safe. Because it also doesn't seem like the trap sections end. Damn. We could get an upgrade to Face Flask, and it's mimicked. Okay, level 12 Flask, I'll take that. I wasn't gonna replace the cat anyhow, anyways. I think I'm gonna drink. Pretty sure, actually. It's dangerous to stay at low health like this. And it's not like I'm going to use the Frantic Sword, because since I'm at low health, I don't want to engage that hard with enemies. So, Face Flask, so, sorry, Infantry Bow is the better choice between the two. Can I get an Elite? Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Please. Extra jump in midair, but we're still a bit unbalanced in our scroll distribution. Oh, that sucks. At least there's a teleporter nearby. I always hate misjudging where the key and the doors are. Okay. Okay. I did a whole speech about not dying anymore with flasks and I almost did it I almost did it again <laughs> okay we we cleared we pretty much cleared the entire level without taking major hits but the ones that we did take costed us a whole lot of health now I think we fight giant here We can fight Giant, right? I think Giant is a better boss to fight without shields. And then we can still fight Dracula if we go through High Peak Castle. Let's just not think about it uh, too much. <laughs> we got the 60, of course. We got no good... We got no good things, yeah. I don't want to replace anything in my setup. I should have bought a better infantry bow. Nah, whatever.
No, cat. I don't want you. To, I didn't want you to do that, man. Now we're gonna have to wait for this phase to be over. Cat is actually doing a lot here. Oh boy, that was that was a good one. Okay. You did good. You did good, cat. Not gonna lie, you did very good. Stick to the plan, go to High Peak Castle and then fight Dracula. We're gonna get our flask back here. Uh we could stop using face flask. And we could stop using vengeance. That was a really good face flask. What the fuck did I just do? Oh wait, actually, that wasn't the best one. I replaced uh, the one that I that I was hyping up. I'm not going distillery. We're going hypey castle. I replaced the flask that I was hyping up with the level twelve one actually. But that was a really good one. The one that had a an extra speed buff. That's really rare. I swear to God, I I've played over. 1200 hours of the game and I've only seen that flask like three times at most and I am assuming I forgot a couple of the times that I saw it and I'm overshooting it a bit I remember seeing it like three times I remember seeing it two times sorry oh my god what the fuck I was not paying attention at all uh, let's drink. If things run smoothly here, we're gonna get both of these flasks back by the time we hit Dracula. And even if we don't, I am confident enough in the Dracula fight that we might not use all the flasks, that we might not need all the flasks. I don't even have I didn't even have the cat out. I deserve to take that hit. Let's hope I don't get hit through the wall. You're kidding me, right? The way forward is through this fucking area here. If you have a lot of hours into the game, you know uh, why and how this is a bullshit setup. I'm gonna have to pause. Sorry. Be right back. Okay. Didn't took a while, and I am back. So, if we get lucky, we can get all of our flasks back. Because there are elites enough here to get one and a little more than one flasks. At 30 uh, brutality. So that's one. Then I think we need to kill a couple more. I hate these guys. Dude. Fuck you. I'm just leaving. I don't deserve this. Uh, in the middle of two areas with no teleporters. Oh my god. Please, cat. Thank you so much. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Okay. So right now we're two? Either two or one kills away from a new flask. And there's also a bunch of off-color scrolls in here, which we usually don't get because we skip right to Hand of the King. There's also going to be two scroll fragments in here, alongside the scroll we get from getting the third key, but that's not an extra, that's just part of the level, so I don't, I don't even count that as an extra thing.
We got one. And there are two more. Uh, because uh, the trackers, the elite trackers, they there are two of them. I hate you guys. Okay. I'm gonna leave that there. So we killed another one. If we kill the two trackers... Plus, if we find another elite, we can get all our flasks back. If not, we're gonna be one short, which isn't a lot. But still, it's gonna cap us, but it's fine. And I think we found, we found a lot of elites, actually, so this might be it. It's fine, it's fine, it's not the end of the world. Still a couple enemies in here. What is this? Well, it is kind of a tricky one way uh, place. We, we're, we're not going to get that, it's not going to work for us. I want to get a better uh, infantry bow. And I think we can get a better... Ooh. I think we can get a better sword as well. Yeah, it is two levels higher. Maybe more. I can't count for shit. Unfortunately, we're going to be missing one, scroll, one uh, flask. We could get it if we went through Astrolab. Free one, that is. Not the one we get from the shop, because there are a bunch of elites to kill there. However, let's just go. Extra scroll. Yeah. Kill Dracula. We got the 60, but there's no 60 kill door here, so we're fine. So, uh, do we want anything else? I don't think so, yeah. We have two very good items. Uh, we're not going to use Vengeance. We might use Tainted Flask. I guess we could use Tainted Flask, we could use Support maybe, let's go with Support, and Armadillo Pack, it's a good pick, doesn't matter if the shield is doing Freeze or not this time, I just like Armadillo Pack for the first phase, it pretty much nullifies half, maybe even more, I, I don't want to... I don't want to oversell the effectiveness of the item, but it notifies all the projectile attacks that Dracula has. The volley of fireballs, the fireball uh, sequence that they do, the meteors. There are a bunch of... Like these. See? These. Okay, decent flawless, the turret did a lot of the work there. We didn't even have to drink, so I guess we're doing great here. But we also were doing great on the all modifiers uh, tactics run, and then we just died. So let me focus up here. I also have another showcase that I want to record before going to bed. It's getting pretty late, but... I 
Ooh. Oh my god, what the hell? And we got 51% HP, just enough so we cannot use <laughs> uh, the frantic sword effectively. Damn, that really sucks. I'm not even gonna drink? Guess I wasted tainted flask. But it was still a decent run. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Thank you, Finn, for suggesting the run. I hope I did justice to your favorite build. And I will see you guys in the next videos. Bye-bye.